However, .NET differs from C++ and C in one major way, because .NET also encompasses something called a runtime. <clears throat> so what's a runtime? Well, we talked before about compiling. We talked about compilation. Everything that happens before, is this layer? Oh no, I'm just on the wrong layer. Everything that happens before compilation is called compile time. So here, when we write our C sharp code, that is compile time. Runtime is the process of our code running on the computer. So at, during our code's execution, while our computer is processing the logic that we've expressed, that is called our runtime. And the runtime of .NET is called the CLR, or the Common Language Runtime. The CLR includes things like garbage collection. And things like reflection, which we won't talk about, but I just want to put here. So garbage collection, reflection, and it also um, manages security so that our programs will not crash our computers. If anybody here has experience with C++, you might know all too well how certain C++ might um, end up uh, either crashing your computer or doing something wrong in regards to things that you have to manage manually. Now, the CLR manages all of this during runtime and does so very efficiently. I do want to throw in there real quick, that second option for those of you that asked up under BCL is file systems. I can read that. I hope Actually, so. tomorrow I probably couldn't. But you, you wrote still. it. <laughs> okay, continue. File systems. Okay, so .NET is a combination of languages, a common um, library, which is the BCL plus some extensions, um, and a runtime, or that's called the CLR. These three things combined is what the .NET framework is. 